Hello friends. I got my new shelves yesterday and had them, my dad helped me like putting them together so that I could fill up the shelves today before Dewey start. So I wanted to do that. My floor is kind of a mess. Um, my floor looks, I just sort of tried to sort it out a little bit. Um, so I had an idea of where to start. Um, so in the back over there is all of my hard covers and I figured they're gonna be on top, the top shelves. I have also thought of having a top shelf that is only interpreted books and I don't know how that's going to be looking. So I'm going to... I'm going to attempt start out by doing that. So yeah, let's get started. I, I probably will... Um, listen to audio while I do this. I don't know how much you got of this because I think both it went out due to I think it went out both because of um, low battery and then because of no memory <laughs> left on my memory card so I'm sorry but this is how it looks now I don't I'm not sure if I'm really happy with it um, yet so I'll have to ponder it a little bit and see if I can come up with something else um, I have a lot of room still so I don't know if I have I'm going to be dividing things up a little bit more and maybe um, putting on sort of trinkets to hold the books in places and then later I can do this um, where it's more cr crammed um, so I'm ha I'll have to think about that but I have all my books on my shelves now but it's also nice to know I have extra room um, so yeah. Hey y'all. So this ended up being where I, what I went with. I am um, sort of happy with the results now. I didn't like the first, um, the first look. This one worked a lot better for me. So um, yeah. So let's just take a look at what I did. I still have uh, room for extra books, which is nice. It's nice that I can expand my library again, so... Um, but as you can also tell, it probably won't take me too long to fill up the shelves. <laughs> so my shelves are a little taller than before, so this means that it's difficult getting a good shot of the top shelf, but what I did with the top shelves so far is that I have the tall hardbacks and my sort of smaller hardbacks on the other side as well as some tall paperbacks up here and the Harry Potter books in the middle. Um, the first thing I have here is um, I tried to sort of make it more or less alphabetical order but it's not. Um, there are um, places that need to be uh, moved around if that's to happen but this one is here because it has a different style format, a different size, and it will look stupid in the middle of it. So it looks better 
the end here. And this is my um, retelling of the Grimm fairy tales um, by Kenneth Anderson and Ben Bilogar. Then I have my copy of Founder's Eye by Robert Jackson Bennett. Um, we have my Patricia Briggs book that are sort of fairly new releases that I have in this tall edition. Then I have Dark Matter. This has been in storage for a while, so I haven't actually shelved it. Mexican Gothic, which I love. And um, then we have the start of my Terra Project collection. That's the uh, tall hardbacks. My favorites of these are A Night Watch and Third, being my favorites of these six. Then we have City of Lies, I'm a Fly, Our Story. This is a biography thing. Um, Artemis has been in storage for a while because I don't really like the book, but I like the cover, so <laughs> I didn't want to get I didn't want to get rid of it. And we have um, the Star of Sea, Toss Against Night, and the Fireman. Um, and up there, I don't think I don't need a lot. It needs a lot of explanation. This is my Harry Potter collection and stuff. Um, yeah, let's just move past this. There is just room for the uh, Deathly Hallows. I made sure that there was room for that, but I'm currently reading it, so that's why it's not on, shelf, on the shelf. This is my next shelf over, and um, these are shoulder hard covers. They don't match completely, but I like how they look up here, so it's fine. First, we have a recent read that I just finished this weekend, um, Lisa Shiata by Kenny Bernathan. Really loved it. Uh, Dead Voices by Catherine Arden. We have the Rose and the Dagger books. No, the Wrath and the Dawn books. We have the Nevermore series by Tom Fletcher books. Sal and Gabby books. Um, a Danish fantasy book. And the Wayward Children is collected up here now in this on display. Um, we have some taller paperbacks that doesn't fit with the other. And then we have Another size of my Terry Pratchett books, that's the sort of young adult books, hardcover. Um, so yeah, I kind of like how this turned out as well. But this is also not in alphabetical order because I don't know why I put this here. I, I don't know. It was supposed to be at the end because T. Um, yeah, my tall paperbacks is definitely in alphabetical order. My tall paperbacks, these are my trade paperbacks, that's what I want to say. So we're starting over here with Joe Abercrombie, Elizabeth Acevedo and Sarah Edison Allen, Tommy Adeyemi, which has been in storage for a bit. Uh, Vicky Albertalli also thought June's Porn has been away a little bit. <laughs> I actually think all these three was putting down um, just because I knew I wasn't going to reread them or anything and I didn't have any emotional attachment to them right now. We have the Vibaduga books. Um, my Patricia Brooks books, some of my favorites, and uh, the Great Coat series. I love this Danish book as well. My favorite collection, and um, all of that. So, yeah, I like this, and I there's definitely room to just move things over whenever I add a book. This one is uh, my masterwork shelves, and um, I I don't know. I just wanted sort of something to fill up these shelves with, and I do have. I've only read this one. No. The Dispossessed and Earth of Bites are the only ones of these I've read. Um, so, but I do have a plan to try and get to at least these three soon. So, hopefully that will happen. Um, yeah, I really like the masterworks when they're on the shelves by themselves like this. So that's why they got a shelf by themselves. And whenever I expand my collection, I can just flip them so they take all of the shelf. Um, but for now, this seems to work better um, because they can't stand on their own because they don't don't fill up the whole shelf. Uh, uh, continuing with my trade paperbacks, we have some that's been in storage for a bit. Um, a recent finish, um, the Faithful and Fallen series, which I'm hoping to get back to soon. My Robin Hood box that I love, that I want the entire collection in this edition. Um, House Moving Castle and N.K. Jemison here. I definitely have more in Amazon that can fit in here as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, I guess this is that shelf. And again, continuing with the trade paperbacks, we have here my favorite science fiction series, I guess, um, the Lady Astronauts. We have a recent finish of A Spy in the House. We have Maroda. Um, 
what have been area safe we have my refill me books my and my stephanie that's not marissa maya books that's stephanie maya that's another whole other ball game um, and the same with um my masterworks i decided to keep my classics together even if i haven't finished them all so i have actually i read the whole of these i actually recently talked about them so i don't know why i'm talking about them again let's say the same with the masterworks but um yeah i'm hoping also to work my way through my classics i might i might try and fit in a masterworks and or a classic every other month or something like that that's sort of my plan right now uh because i do really want to continue with this um so can I, if i can get through um six masterworks in a year and six classics in a year that would be great this is um <sighs> yeah, this has this series that I love by Camry Morning. Can't wait to get back to it. We have my trade paperback sized ketchup pretzel. We only have two of those. We have Uncle Vic here, all of my McRiden books. And um, yeah, I guess not much to say about them either. Um, and now we're down to my Brenda Sanderson collection. I've had my VH Warp books on stor in storage, but they managed to get back here again because I still have a book in that series that I need to read and I I do like Vicious and the Savage Song so yeah it's strange you such a hit or miss author and then we have my study trilogy that I really enjoy my Tolkien books the shelf is dedicated to all of my graphic works um, I have one that's not here right now because I'm reading it but this is um, my Valhalla. I want all five of them now, now that I have room for them. There's no reason to wait. Uh, we have. I want the, the last three volumes of The Descender. I want the last three, or the next three volumes in the Monstrous series. I don't know how many volumes that's intended to become, but I know there's three more at least. Um, I loved Namona, and I think Agriconco was really cute. And then I have another Term Pratchett. Although that's not one of my least favorite, but that's another story. No. Now we are down to where my mass market, mass market paperbacks start. And again, they are in alphabetical order. So um, it's, uh, one of my, a, a, a well-loved series of mine, um, the, the other series, we have a book by Robert Bree that I love. We have a um, Robin Hart book in a wrong edition. Um, there was a Stephen King book that fell over. Um, then I have my Stephen King books, the majority of them, except it. It is uh, actually the same size as, size as the trade paperback, so that is up on another shelf. But I, my favorites are The Shining and Pet Cemetery, and then we have The Different Season and The Dead Zone being close seconds. Let's, let's just do this, please. I'm actually amazed they can stand on their own, actually, you, mostly. Good thing I don't have to film the bottom shelf because now we're down to the current bottom shelves, but I still have another one further down. Uh, but this one obviously has my Game of Thrones and continue with the uh, mass market. We also start in on my biggest Discworld collection, that is the mass market paperbacks. I counted them yesterday i think i have 20 in that type um let's see if i have calculated correctly i have one two three four five six seven eight nine, ten, ten, twelve here and then the next shelf over has the remainder and that is also the very last shelf with books on it right now 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 with going postal being the most recent um, and they changed, I think they changed artist somewhere along the way. Um, I think he passed away. This is definitely very different than the original covers. I'm happy with my interpretive collection, so. And also another book that I really love is Fascination, so. I'm looking forward to finishing the series, but also dreading finishing the Disco series, because then I don't know what I'm going to pick up after that, so. Um, so I decided to fill up the last shelf here with empty book boxes just to have something to decorate it with because I didn't have more books and um, I remember my parents and my 
sisters um, looking a little bit weirdly at me when I packed them down um, and had them, have had them in storage um, at my old apartment. But right now I'm really happy with it because it um, serves a purpose right now. And uh, I, at least I, these three had really interesting artwork on them. So that's why I went with those because the other boxes I had, there were so many text on the back of them. So that's why this ended up being the ones that I went with. Um, so I'm happy I didn't throw them out and I had some use for them. And uh, maybe when they um, don't meet this purpose any longer, maybe they are going to be thrown out then. I don't know. I don't have a deep attachment to them, but they serve a sort of purpose right now. Hello friends. So yeah, this was everything I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed my sort of overview. And uh, even though my organizing of it probably wasn't the best, I hope you at least enjoy the overall video and how it ended up and how it turned out and um yeah for now i'm happy with how it looks and now i'm going to start filming over here instead of by my tbr shelves because i think the lighting over here will be better i won't have the sun directly in my face if i film sometimes that could be difficult actually concentrating um because i have windows all the way down the side over here um so i hope that it will work out for me um uh, anyway this was everything i wanted to Enjoy today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.